So HVLA versus LVLA. HVLA stands for high velocity, low amplitude thrust. It's a fast gapping or separation of two articular surfaces with speed. This is more commonly known as spinal manipulation and or an adjustment. LVLA stands for low velocity, low amplitude thrust. A slow, therapeutic, more rhythmical gapping and movement of a joint. This is often known as joint articulation and or mobilization. Spinal manipulation is usually associated with a cavitation or a crack sound and mobilization is usually not. So many glamorize or prioritize the cavitation aspect of spinal manipulation, treating it as a key hallmark of what makes a great adjustment or spinal correction. So what is a cavitation? Or well, the crack you hear during a manipulation, it is kind of the creation and redistribution of gas within the joint when the surfaces rapidly separate in a fluid filled enclosed system, which is a synovial joint. Does it feel good? Sure. Is it clinically relevant? No. What makes your intervention matter as a clinician is the efficacy of treatment observed in the post-assessment check. Is spinal manipulation moving bones back into alignment? No. Can you have a good adjustment without a cavitation? Yes. We must also consider the differences in clinical application between HVLA and LVLA. For example, HVLAs have significantly more risk factors, contraindications, and reduced suitability for a selection of your patient demographic. So what does the research say? A 2019 meta-analysis found no significant difference between manipulation and mobilization for pain relief and improvement in function. Additionally, a 2019 randomized controlled trial found no difference between both interventions. A 2016 study found both procedures demonstrated similar effects in short-term lower back pain improvement. Thomas ETL in 2020 reported there was no significant difference in pain scores between spinal manipulation and mobilization and a 2015 Cochrane review supported these findings. Moss in 2007 found that articular or mobilization of an osteoarthritic knee had an immediate reduction of pain. Furthermore, pain threshold lowering effects post-treatment have also been reported in multiple studies after mobilization or articulation of the cervical and lumbar spine. We can see research suggests the only real difference between mobilization and manipulation as a therapeutic modality is the speed of which they are applied. So here are some quick tips. Focus on quality pre-assessments, appropriate patient and context-based interventions, and the use of proficient techniques this is finesse over force and always check for post assessment changes all references can be available upon request i hope this helps peace